explain why the couple between standing. Who give this bride? Let the mother of the bride take the Christ by the right hand and hand over to the good and say, I give. Who give this bride? I hand it over to Praise the Lord. I give. Praise the Lord. I ask the commission to stand up as you go before the Lord in prayer. Please stand with me. Let's pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privilege of being in the body of Christ. We have come together to watch the miracle of your Lord and the power of your sweet work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for the power of the Holy Ghost in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Father, union with the Son, and union with the Holy Spirit, and union with one another. We thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please be seated. Please be seated. As I read the scripture of the fifth chapter, all the two of the vision, 22, 29, 20, 29, and that's I do. I want to pay very close attention to the words in the here In our words from God's word, that the Holy Spirit will be honored as we stand on them in faith. The world has the idea that marriage is simply a letter contract. We do not make it like or that, but at the same time, it is a spiritual contract. When the word of faith has spoken according to the word of God between two complicated believers, the power of God does work into operation. There is an active, an active miracle that takes place when the faith of these two precious people is released in God's power. God honors their faith and brings them into union together. With this thought in mind, listen carefully to this work from the book of Ephesians 5. 20 to 28, and verse 22. Wives, submit yourself unto your husband, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the union, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the God is subject to unto Christ, so let wives be to their husband in every day. Husband, Love the wife, even as Christ loved the church, and prayed in self way that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the wash of water by the wall, that he might present it to himself a glorious sword, not any sort of wrinkle or any sort of thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So all men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loves his wife loves his loves himself. For no man yet hates his own flesh, but nourishes it and shelters it, even as he loves the church. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Now we take the congregation. In the eye of the Almighty, Almighty God, these two precious people are washed in the blood of the Lamb. Jesus Christ of the Nazareth. They have prayed and before the Lord, they believe in all their hearts that it is the perfect will of God for them to be joined together in marriage. They have made a decision so from now until the end of this age, I charge you to do everything in power to see this union remain solid and prosperous. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
as a representative of Jesus Christ before the Almighty God, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I now pronounce you one together as husband and wife.
say congratulations. Happy marital life. A peaceful marital life for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap for them, church. Congratulations. Celebrate this morning. Thank you for the journey from 1 plus 1 equals to 1. Thank you for what you have done here. Blessed be your name. God, at this moment, we want to hear the word speak to us. Speak to this room and speak to everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's go. 
very, very bright. Lale yi, ki lo ma shole. Ale yi, ale. Eh, ile ma yevi on this one, elo di gadi a ti mami yo. Who is the first person to sleep off tonight? The first person to sleep off tonight. To sleep off tonight. Couple, let's go. Okay. Ya wo. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay,